A great job today. Be proud of yourself. You're the bullshit. You could have done better today. Someone forgot that he was his family's last. Hey guys, we are Bambi TV. Guys, we will be reacting to man owns feminist using her own logic. Guys, let's get straight into this. I am a she, her. Calm down. Calm no, down. don't tell me to calm down. Calm you disrespect me. Calm down. Calm down. You, you, no, you, you disrespect me. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm tired. I the told you, you so. The way you're you acting is not cool in my classroom. I don't calm care. Down. The way you're disrespecting me is not cool. No. I told you so many times. I am not a he. Your name oh. is Joshua. I don't care. Your name I don't is Joshua. Care. You are. A whole man and you walking up on me at the end of the day. See, and you, you still see? being disrespectful. No, 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 no. Yes, I'm not. No, I'm not. I but you're going to still respect me my class. You are Joshua and that's what I'm Is saying. that right? Yes, you are. Yes, I tried to tell you so many yes, times. Yes, yes. I, you need to back away. You need no. to back, back you away. You need back to respect away. my still, pronouns. You, you still a man at the end of the day. See? You still a see, man. You, you still a man. Chill out, chill out. A fully grown man squaring up to a woman half his size talking about disrespect. What an absolute fragile little <laughs> coward. Yeah, that's facts. Think how big this guy is as well. He's that big and he's that emotionally weak. It's only a matter of time before he actually does something dangerous to someone. Mentally unstable, danger to society. Kick him out of the school. So you said white people are racist due to socialization in the same way that men are socialized to be sexist uh -huh. and heterosexual people are socialized to be homophobic. So yes. I'm a white, straight male guy. It's not about you, so man. basically I'm like I'm like enemy number one. So I'm a racist, sexist, homophobe. Are your logic? Sexist, yes. But I'm not sexist. And I'm not racist and I'm not homophobe. Who are you to say that every straight white guy did in the world that. is a... Well, you did. You are calling straight white guys like me a series of offensive stereotypical labels, which I find, I find very offensive. Okay. This is why there's a problem, because you're taking it personally. There is a problem. I am taking it personally. Yes. About when you, you say all white people are racist, as a white person, I, I find that offensive. Please. Yeah, this person's actually a man who transitioned, I think, to a woman or something and then carried on blaming men for all their problems. Uh, it's just, you just want to be a victim so bad, don't you? Check this next clip out. ...root of sexism is. And sexism doesn't come from women. So, of course, it's caused by men. This is a social construct. You don't think women can be sexist? I don't think that women can enforce um, misogyny. What's a like, load of nonsense? No, because it's all... You don't think any women can be women sexist? Women don't uphold the patriarchy, Piers. That is not uphold the case. The, the patriarchy. What's that? You don't know what the patriarchy is. I do, is. but explain it. The patriarchy is basically a structure that puts men at the top of power. Mm. So the five it's, most, it's not women five, that enforce the patriarchy. The five, most women don't have anything to the five most powerful people in this country currently are women. Ah. How, does that, how does that sit with your patriarchy? of bricklayers are men. Should we have quotas for women? Is bricklaying representative democracy? That has nothing to do with the question. The question is if there's evidence of structural inequality and oppression, because women aren't precisely represented at 50% in all professions at all levels, then why don't we have a conversation about having women represented in all professions at all levels? Well, we why do we talk about the C-suite, for example? Why do we talk about politics and positions of power? Why don't we talk about it across the board? Okay, well, but that's because it's power. It's so funny to me watching someone debate a feminist because they just hate it when the facts disprove their narratives. They hate it. Imagine that though. Imagine like everything you believe in, <laughs> the facts are just against you. Like it must be pretty stressful. That's why they're yeah. always so angry all the time. You had a life sentence, right? You were about to be sentenced to prison. Do you want to judge on her period? What kind of dumb question is that? That is a stupid question. Why? Because I just, I don't, I feel well, like- Give me a stupid answer. Go ahead. No, I just, I don't think that, um, like, being on your period aff would affect your job in that way. Does being on your period affect you at all? Does it affect me? It affects me physically. Emotionally, I can, emotionally, I can step back, take a look, and be like, it was never that deep. And a stupid answer was given. Personally, I think because you're a man, you shouldn't have any words. If okay, you you're saying because I'm a man, I'm not affected by abortion, I shouldn't have an opinion on it? Pretty much. Okay, are you affected in any way by the Holocaust? Not personally, I'm not Jewish.
you think the Holocaust is bad? I do. So you have an opinion on something that doesn't directly affect you, right? Man can't have opinions on abortion. Does a man have to pay child support? Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, you see that? You see the double standards right here? Like we came all the way to Morocco to find out how many genders are there. I don't understand you. Oh, too. Oh, biologically. Genders, it's like about female and males. Yeah, they're like how many are there? I think it's 50-50 Morocco. Uh, 19 million. 19 million and for females, 19 million. It's funny, like they don't even understand the question here because it sounds so ridiculous to them. Here, they're just not as programmed, you know, they stick to, to real life. And that's how it is. The more you leave those first world societies, it's just more normal. None of this extra bullshit. Who has it easier in society, men or women? women? Definitely men because they get paid more and they also don't have to deal with sexual harassment in the streets. And if they want to be shirtless, they also don't have to worry about somebody looking at them like they're just throwing themselves out there. Okay, so since you believe that, would you be willing to switch gender roles with a man? No, because I like being a woman. Shut the fuck up! Well then, well then, wouldn't that prove that women have it easier in society? Otherwise, women would want to switch gender roles? No, that is not true. No. Women don't have it easier. We get judged way more we than look, men. We look better. We, we possess more in life because yeah. we actually bring forth life. Men can't do that. But, um, but once again, then why wouldn't women overwhelmingly want to switch gender roles if it men have it easier? It would only be for money. It would only be for money for a woman to try to be a man, but I mean... So she thinks the only reason she'd become a man is to earn more money, but I don't think she realizes if she became a man, how much more work she'd probably have to do. <laughs> That's the problem. But she could just do the work as a woman and still earn as much money if she really wanted to. But the point is she doesn't. And when she doesn't achieve what she wants to achieve, it's not because she didn't work hard. In her mind, it's probably because, oh yeah, the patriarchy, yeah. load of bullshit. I stated biological facts and you have a problem with me stating biological facts. And the facts that I stated is for a man to have sex with a trans woman, he would be having sex with a biological male, which is that is what I said. That is all I've ever said. I haven't sat on this podcast shaming people, being hateful towards people. I've stated very basic facts. And you sit on the other side and you're like, you can't do that as the supposed godly Christian man. You need to be tolerant towards people. It is our job as Christians to align ourselves with the word of God. It is also our job to, as Jesus said, make disciples of the nations and to share the word of God. And you make all these statements about Chase. You can't be judgmental towards people. Jesus told us, we are to judge we are we are in this life to judge with righteous judgment it's not a christian's job to just walk around the world and be tolerant it's a christian's job to combat evil and to combat falsehoods what do you rate your looks on the scale of one to ten i'm gonna ask everybody like a seven <laughs> like a 6.3 why would you not rate you guys a 10 like we should be rating ourselves a 10. I'm stop 10. the cap can i just say something before you go ahead yeah you know why you do that why why you? everybody rates themselves as six or eight or whatever because they are afraid of being arrogant it's not arrogant to be confident to like yourself and to like your appearance Boy, you're not a ton, bro. But, okay there's a difference between confidence and thinking that you're on par with the most beautiful women in the world. Difference between men and women when they have friends is men will tell their friends straight. They'll be like, look, stop being a bitch. Yeah, you need to do this and this and this to fix your life. Women, <laughs> they're just gonna lie. They're gonna be like, oh, wow, you're perfect. You don't need to change anything. Yeah, keep doing what you're doing. It's like, no, that's not realistic. As a friend, you gotta tell them if they're doing something wrong and fix it. Not live in a delusion surrounded by a bunch of yes men. Check this out, it sums it up perfectly. Be delusional. If you don't believe that you are, think that you are. Once you repeat so many times a thing in your head, it's gonna literally come into your life. There is no other way. You can rest now. You made a great job today. Be proud of yourself. You're the bullshit. You could have done better today. Someone forgot that he was his family's last hope. He needs to get back on track before it's too late. Do you want to remain a loser? A lazy shit who can't even stand to run a few miles? Do you want to tell your son? Dad didn't make it because he quit and was too lazy. Hey guys, that last one got to me because I, I can tell you I was on the bed one day and I was like, I don't really want to make videos today. Like, I, I made it maybe the other day, but like, I'll, I'll make it later. Let's, let me give myself one hour to watch TikTok. And I was on Instagram, then I saw 108 posts. It was like, 
a TikTok clip, then it cut. But like a, a funny clip, then it cut, and he was like, "You lazy! Like, what are you still doing on the bed? Like, I just dropped my phone, stood up, set the camera, and I was making video because like, I feel it's like a reminder, like telling you." you need to be doing this and you know you honestly know you need to be doing this so why why are you wasting your time like it get do it like you have to get to work like i love when i hear my guys motivating me or listening to some motivational stuff because i think it gets me going but guys this is i i don't feel this is a hate to any woman but i feel some women don't actually like think with logic like they think as if the world revolves around the brain. Like, the way they think the world is, that's the way it is. Like, they lie to themselves and they actually believe it. I have this problem with a friend of mine, and I keep on telling her, like, stop lying to yourself and believe in it. The more, like, you can ask her a question and she can lie to herself and believe it. Like, this is not the way it is. Like, bro, like, see the truth. And now she's, she's saying the truth and bending it in a way that when you catch her, isn't that she's lying, but like she she twisted it. Her oh, girls, 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 girls are really, really fucked up. I'll say it. Like, they are fucked up. But guys, don't worry about this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.